Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, before I get started with this video, I just want to wish you all a happy holiday. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you may celebrate. I hope you had a great time. I hope you're going into this new year feeling energized, positive, and just radiating that awesomeness that I know is deep within you. Sorry for being gone the past couple of weeks. Um, I had finals and then I just really wanted to reconnect with my friends and with my family. I've been pretty much going out like all day, um, every night, just hanging out with family, hanging out with my friends, just reconnecting. I think that that's very important to do. It's really important to take stock at the end of the year of the things that you're grateful for, the things that were your, um, your roses and the things that were your thorn, you know, like I think that is very important to come through and just really evaluate how this year has benefited you and how going into the next year you want to either make changes or continue on the same path for many of you. So I just wanted to first put that out there. Um, I know people have been speculating or wondering where I have been. Did I pussy out? I've seen that a bunch. Um, Am I chickening out? Am I, you know, what is what is it? Michael, is, is he afraid? Is he not gonna do videos, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna address all of that here right and now. I'm still gonna make videos on YouTube. Like that's that's never been a, a, um, a thing that I wasn't going to do. Um, I just knew that given the vagueness of YouTube's new policy that I was gonna have to make some adjustments. Um, am I gonna do reacts? Yeah, I'm probably going to keep doing reacts. I'm just not going to do as many. Um, <laughs> when I was doing my reacts at the beginning of, of the month for Vlogmas, I think I was caught in a bit of a positive feedback loop because I was making them and people were loving them. Like I hadn't been, I had never really gotten views like that on this channel before. And so I think that because of that, I just kept making them and they were fun to make and they were fun to see your guys' reactions in the comments. Um, they were fun to see the little edits and stuff that people would send me on Instagram. I thought that was hilarious. Um, so I think that because that was, I was seeing that and I was getting such a positive, I was getting such a positive response from all of you guys that I just like kept doing it. And I didn't realize that by doing that, I was also kind of neglecting my personal life and my professional life, I guess, so to speak, like with school and stuff, because I had just been kind of, I would, instead of taking the time, I would it, usually, for, I mean, for me, this has like been a really great hobby. Um, for the most part, usually YouTube comes last on my priority list. I have schoolwork, family, friends, and then YouTube comes after that. Um, but I had been kind of putting it up there higher in the list because I knew people were loving it. And um, I had been kind of, you know, slacking on my studies and, and stuff like that. Um, I know people were like, oh my God, did he fail his classes? I didn't fail my classes. I got straight A's again. It was just, I didn't do, when I came on here and I did that live stream and I was talking about how I wasn't, um, I wasn't satisfied, satisfied with my performance on that test. I still got an 80, like an 88% on that test, but it was just, I knew that I could have killed it and um, I didn't and that bothered me. So that was mostly what I was talking about. And so going forward, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments obviously because the YouTube harassment policy has changed. When I do reactions, I'm giving you an honest, unfiltered um, view or my perspective of what I'm seeing. So if I see things that are annoying to me or not factual or stupid or lazy or all of the above that's what i say that i'm just saying what i think and i think i had a lot um not a lot but i had some people coming like i think you're being a little bit nitpicky and i agree i when i i went since gone back and like watched some of those videos and i was i was being very petty and i know that that's in my name and i know that that's on brand or whatever if, if that's what you want to call it for me but i was being very nitpicky and i think it was because of the sheer amount of reacts that i was doing and it was just so mind-bogglingly like boring to me like it was just so boring <laughs> to, to to do some of them because she wasn't doing much like real talk like she was like some of the time she was even leaving like her room so it was like it was very hard for me to like and i want there to i want it to just be more than me just sitting there like being bored out of my mind like so i would like see things or whatever i would just look for things to like talk about and I can understand how that could be perceived or it was actually just me being a little bit nitpicky. I'm not saying that I'm taking back my opinions on how I feel about the, this person or other people that I've done reacts on in the past. I stand by 98% of what I've said and done on this channel. Like I just do, um, 
that those are my feelings, those are my opinions, and I know some people like them and some people don't like them. But I do realize that going forward, I need to try to diversify my content, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to be doing going forward is I'm not gonna be posting as many reacts on this channel. And I don't want you guys to think that I'm like doing like a bait and switch, like I'm never gonna like talk about Amber, I'm never gonna talk about well, I don't really talk about Foodie Vida that much on the channel. I can trigger her with in 140 characters and less. So I don't really need to be like making a whole ass video about her. And real talk, her videos don't get that, that great of views anyway. But um, I know that, sorry if you hear people in the background, my grandma's playing with the dog right now and she's like playing the ball. But, um, and I, know, I just know that going forward, I need to like make a change, especially if I want to survive the rule change, whatever the rule change is. See, that's the thing with the rule change. And I think that was why I was mostly annoyed. I wasn't upset, I wasn't sad. I was just annoyed because I have put a lot of time into it and it's and I was just thinking back on like the hours that I've spent like editing videos, making videos, um, talking to people about doing, you know, my shirts or like, you know, and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed doing it. And I was thinking like, holy shit, like just with like this flick of a wrist, like it could just be gone because of some vague new YouTube rule, you know? And um, and so in my head, I was like, well, you know what? I'm gonna, it, it came at a perfect time. And I know people too in the past were like, oh, he's taking a break, he never takes a break. I take breaks all the time. In May, in June and May, I took, I didn't post a video for two months because I had stuff going on in my life, my, with school, with my grandma. Um, every, the end of every semester, I take a break because I have to study for my finals and I wanna do well on them. And I know that I can't do that if I'm worried about making videos for YouTube. So I think, going forward i just need to like diversify i need to spread my bingo wings and flap my arms and see like what other things and what other other content i can make out there so will i do reacts on this channel yeah i will do reacts it's just probably not going to be as many um because i want to try to challenge myself and to like see if i can put other content out there that people want to consume so um going forward I'm going to still do videos on here. I'm still gonna do commentary videos. I wanna to try to do, take tackle more topics, other parts of the YouTube sphere that I think that are um, being either mishandled or stupid or offensive or whatever I think. Um, I wanna talk about other mukbangers. I wanna talk about mukbanging in general. Um, if I see someone like Amber or someone like Chantel come on here and spout something that's like incredibly misleading or just really bad misinformation, then I'm gonna come on here and give my opinion about that. Like I'm not gonna be afraid to like make a video about them because they got in their feelings because they are always, in well, Amber not so much. The other one, yeah, mostly in her feelings a lot. So. I'm gonna still make those videos. So if someone comes on here and is eating five value meals and talking about how they wanna get weight loss surgery, I'm gonna talk about how dumb that is and how dumb that looks. And a part of the new YouTube rules or whatever from what I've gathered, and that's the thing is like, it's a bunch of different interpretations of the rules. And that's why I hate things that are so vague. So when my video got pulled down, I appealed it and I was like, what? And I was like, I don't understand what a, about this video in particular that got it taken down. Like I didn't, I couldn't understand. I mean, I was going maybe ex ex especially hard on her because she was not talking about the Twinkie thing. And so I, that was the only thing I could think of, but that was the only video that got taken down. I didn't get a strike. I didn't get a warning. I didn't get anything other than, it just got taken down. It was just taken down for harassment or whatever. And then that was it. And so, um, but, a part of the YouTube rules is that you can critique someone's professionalism. And as far as I'm concerned, Amber vlogging or Chantel doing a mukbang and talking about that stuff, that's her job. So I can talk about that stuff. I just can't attack them personally. So I'll just have to be less petty about it on YouTube, but like, don't get it twisted. I'm still gonna say and make the comments on Twitter or on Instagram or even on Twitch. And that was another thing that I was thinking about doing. And that's why I was putting my Twitch channel out there is, there are still rules on Twitch, but there's not, they're not as severe. And on YouTube, you have to be far more careful with using copyrighted material, copyrighted songs, all of that stuff. But on Twitch, there isn't much of that. I mean, yes, your your stream can get muted, but honestly, like for the most part, like, I, I don't know, I wanna be able to listen to the music I wanna listen to, talk about the things I wanna talk about. I wanna play games too. That's a, also a very big part of my personality is that I do play a lot of video games. And so um, I do wanna like start showing that with everyone. So I'm thinking going forward on my Twitch channel, um, www.twitch.tv slash Black Plague, B-L-A-Q-U-E-P-L-A-G-U-E. I'm going to 
start streaming on there more frequently. So like I'm gonna stream there maybe three days a week. I don't know, I have to come up with a schedule, but that's in my head when I'm thinking schedule, um, stream there for three days a week. And then I'm still gonna stream on YouTube, just not weekly, maybe twice a month I'll stream on YouTube because I did go out and I did get these emotes made. And so I want them to get used because I think they're funny as hell. And um, and I'm gonna link, leave a link to the person who made these emotes and I'm gonna show them on the screen right here. But um, I think you guys will get a kick out of them. And so I know how much you guys enjoy the live streams and I enjoy doing them because they're really fun for me and it's cool to get that immediate feedback from everyone while I'm doing them. So I think I will stream on Twitch three days a week and then twice a month I'll stream on YouTube. And on Twitch, if Amberlynn uploads a video and I'm gonna stream that day, then I'll do a react on Twitch. And I'll say on YouTube like, oh, this is where I'm going, I'm gonna be streaming at this time and I'll probably be, I'll react to it there or whatever. Um, I do have a friend who's going to watch her videos for me or whatever and then make the decision on if, I, if it's worth me doing a react. Otherwise, I'm just gonna watch them like everyone else watches them. <laughs> and then maybe I'll tweet about them or something. But um, yeah, I wanna do that going forward. Another big part of what I like to do to spread in my free time is I watch a lot of reality TV. Um, I know a lot of people think that it's like junk food of TV or whatever, and it is, I agree 100%, but for me, it's, it shuts off a part of my brain and it's just, you get to watch people like in their behaviors in real time, I guess, or not in real time, you get to like really see like a more visceral reaction from people. And so I wanna start talking about the TV shows that I watch and start doing recaps. And I know Zach and Yaba have been doing um, recaps of the Slayton Sisters, but I wanna do recaps of My 600 Pound Life. I really don't care about the Slayton Sisters that much. So um, I wanna talk about the individuals that are coming on that show or the couples or whatever that come on that show and talk about and do a full recap and review of the episode every week. And so I think that that would be something that um, I would really enjoy doing and I hope it's something that you guys would also enjoy seeing me and giving my take on what I'm seeing as someone who's kind of gone through the process, so to speak. I mean, I haven't gone through something as serious as like seeing Dr. Now in Houston, but he's hilarious and he's very similar to my doctor and I can kind of relate to a lot of those people and what they're going through because I've gone through it. Um, I also want to talk about my favorite channel of all time, Bravo. I watch a lot of Bravo shows. I'm a Bravo-holic through and through. I watch all of The Real Housewives. I watch Vanderpump Rules. I watch Below Deck. Um, I don't sleep very m I don't sleep very well, so I'm usually up late at night, like watching or catching up on all all the reality shows that I didn't get to watch during the day. And I want to talk about Vanderpump Rules. There's a new season of Vanderpump Rules happening, and I think it'd be fun for me to do weekly recaps of that. And so that's the kind of that's kind of where my head is at. And I want to do commentary videos about things that I see. Like I want to do videos talking about like the like I have a visual a video in my head about like the it's called the coalition coalition of cringe. And I want to talk about like Shane and Nick Ocado and Trisha and Jeffrey and how these characters somehow come together and are immune to criticism. I don't know. I kind of, I have this like idea in my head. So I want to, I don't want to talk about stuff like that and do commentary videos about stuff like that. So I think going forward, I just want to diversify what I do on my channel, not just do strict reacts. I want to see if I can stretch my wings and tackle topics that aren't necessarily as easy because doing the Amberlynn videos are easy they just are and because I've been doing them for a while now and she's such an easy person to like poke holes in their arguments and everything and it's I need to try to do things that are a little bit more intellectually stimulating and I think that talking about re reality shows or re doing recaps or talking about topics in general like morbid obesity and thin privilege or you know talking about my experiences growing up as a mixed race individual or growing up as gay or whatever doing more stuff like that will give you a more insight into like how I who I am personally and I'm hoping that you walk with me because you like me and more so than the content. I don't know. I, and this will be, and I guess this will test that theory. Um, again, I don't want this to seem like I'm doing like this big bait and switch that I am no longer going to do the content that you want to see. And if that is the case for you, then I'm sorry. But this, I, ha and if I want to, if I want to, survive in this YouTube sphere or whatever. This is just how I feel like I have to do it. And this is how I'm gonna do it going forward. And if that's not okay with you, then I'm sorry. Um, maybe 
you can just come back for the videos that you want to watch and that's fine too i'm not gonna like be upset because you don't want to watch my videos but i want to say thank you guys so much i know a lot of people reached out to me a lot of people asked me like what are you gonna do going forward and there was a while where i was responding to people and i was just trying to get gauge feedback um, but then I realized that it was like having a bucket of water and trying to like keep a ship afloat and every time for every one I answered 10 people started sending me things and so I stopped responding to a lot of the DMs that were asking me like what I was going to do going forward so if you reached out to me and I never responded to you I'm really sorry but it was just becoming too much and I had other stuff going on but um, this is where my mindset is going forward and I hope that you guys will still rock with me you'll still be my petty gang my petty pals petty force and we can continue building this channel and having discussions and doing all of this dumb petty stuff that we've always done on this channel and yeah that's just my viewpoint on that so so i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone that has been with me this far i would have never thought that we'd be i mean we're close to seventy thousand. so it's like i would have never imagined that like seventy thousand people would give a fuck about what i have to say of all people i've always seen other people do youtube and seen other people do twitch and i've always thought that it was something that only other people got to do and only other people got to like have some kind of like platform on or whatever i have always thought that like no one really gave a fuck about what i had to say other than like my friends and family so um it's been a very surreal experience it's been a very like rewarding experience and i hope to continue growing this group of friends or whatever you know i mean i consider a lot of you guys like friends so um thank y'all so much um, I'm gonna leave links down to, I want to say thank y'all so much for rocking me this far. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.